Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell icon, so you never miss any of my future videos. Angular Material is a UI component library for building web applications with Angular Framework. Developed and maintained by the Angular team at Google, Angular Material provides a set of pre-built, well-designed, and consistent components that follow the material design guidelines. In this video, I will show you how to install Angular Material in Angular 17. Let's get started. First, we will install Angular 17. Click here, type cmd and press enter. To install Angular 17, type the command ng space new space your project name and press enter. Now, for stylesheet, select CSS and press enter. Now, it will ask, do you want to enable server-side rendering? Type N and press enter. It will take some time to download, so please wait until the download is completed. The download is now complete. Now, type CD space your project name to navigate to the project directory. Now, open the project in VS Code or any other IDE of your choice. Open a terminal in VS Code. Click here. Now, select Command Prompt. Type the command ng space serve to run the app. Open your browser and type localhost colon 4200 and press enter. You can see new logo of Angular, which means that Angular 17 has been installed successfully. Now, let's install Angular Material. In Google type Angular Material and press enter. Open this link. Click on Get Started. Copy this command. Click here and open new command prompt. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. Now, type Y and press enter to install Angular Material. Here, choose a theme using arrow keys and press enter. Now, to set up global angular material typography styles, type Y and press enter. For angular animations module, select include and enable animations and press enter. It will take some time to download, so please wait until the download is completed. Angular Material has been installed successfully. If you open your browser, you won't observe any changes because we haven't added any Angular Material components yet. Click on Components. Look for the Toolbar component. Click on Toolbar component. Click on Examples. Click here to see the code. Now, copy this code. Let's create a header component. In your terminal, type the command ng space g space c space header and press enter. This command will create header component inside src slash app slash header folder. Now, open header.component.html file and paste the code which you have copied. You will see some errors, like mat toolbar is not a known element. To fix this, we need to import Angular Material modules. Click on TS. Copy Mat Toolbar Module. 
open header.component.ts file and add mat toolbar module in the imports array. Now, copy mat button module and mat icon module and add these modules in the imports array. Now we need to import these modules. Copy this code. Paste the code here. Now, if you open header.component.html file, you will notice that the errors have been fixed. Open app.component.html file and add app header selector in it to display the header component. You will see an error, app header is not a known element. To fix this, open app.component.ts file and add header component to the imports array. Also make sure to import the header component. Open your browser and you will see that the toolbar is displaying, but there is no gap between the app logo and icons. To fix this, we need to add CSS for the toolbar. Click on CSS and copy this code. Open header.component.css file and paste the code which you have copied. Now, you can see that there is a gap between the logo and icons. You may have noticed that the background color of the toolbar is not showing. To fix this, we need to restart the server. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and then type ng serve to restart the app. Open your browser and now you can see that the background color of the toolbar is showing. Let's change the name of the app. Open header.component.html file and change the name of the app. You can see that the app name has been changed. Let's add another material component in our app. Click on table component. Click on examples. Scroll down. We will use this table. Copy this code. Let's create a table component. In your terminal, type the command ng space g space c space table and press enter. This command will create table component inside src slash app slash table folder. Open table.component.html file and paste the code which you have copied. You will see some errors because we haven't imported Angular material modules for the table component. Click on TS. Copy this code. Open table.component.ts file. Paste the code which you have copied. Now, copy this code. Here, paste the code which you have copied. Copy the code for the periodic element interface and the element underscore data array containing instances of the periodic element. Here, paste the code which you have copied. Copy mat table module and mat checkbox module. Add both the modules in the imports array. Now, copy the code from the export class table selection example block. Paste the code which you have copied inside export class table component. Now, if you open table.component.html file, you will notice that all the errors have been fixed. Click on CSS and copy the code. Open table.component.css file and paste the code which you have copied.
Open app.component.html file and add app table selector in it to display the table component. You will see an error, app table is not a known element. To fix this, open app.component.ts file and add table component to the imports array. Also make sure to import the table component. Now, if you open your browser, you will see both the Angular Material Toolbar and Table Components. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next video, till then stay safe.